our summer music festivals guide. Hey, it's Mark, and I am back in the minivan. How are you guys? Trying not to get in an accident. Um, yeah, so I'll turn off the radio. Been uh, reading a lot of headlines lately because so many people are dying in the rock world now. And it's expected. Listen, the life expectancy of rockers is not uh, is not the best. I heard dentists don't have a good life expectancy either. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> rock stars, I, I, I get it. I get it. Um, so here's the deal. As these guys die off, some of them have died years ago, like Freddie Mercury. Others have died more recently. Um... The guys that are left, okay, the Brian Mays of the world, if you will, choose to continue or choose to not continue going on doing the music that they created with the people who died. And that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's their choice. It's the fans' choice whether they'll accept that music. I get it. I get it. I don't expect anyone to sit around, you know, doing nothing. I wish Jimmy Page would have done more, you know, in, in his in his career, post John Bonham dying. Wish he would have gotten his chops back, which he never got back. I wish he would have gotten out there and, and done something that was really great. I mean, he, he did some little things here and there that I actually liked, but that's a whole other thing. So, I, Brian May said recently that he believes that Freddie Mercury would approve of him working with Adam Lambert and would have thought Adam Lambert's great or something like that. And that's what I hate, man. When these people die, don't pretend you know what they would have thought of what you go on to do. It's bullshit, man. Freddie Mercury probably, in my humble opinion, would have thought that Adam Lambert fucking stuff is a fucking joke, because it is. It sucks. I liked Adam Lambert on American Idol. I was rooting for him. Great voice. It's t it's terrible combination with, with Queen. I like to believe Freddie would have thought what Mark Striegel thinks, that it sucks. Completely. And it's a money grab. That's just me. But, okay, that, and that's not where I wanted to go with this. Where I wanted to go is, if you're a living rock star, and you're doing something with a replacement of a dead guy, whether it's a hologram or an actual person, don't tell us what the dead rock star would have thought. We don't know if Ronnie James Dio would have liked the idea of the hologram or not, but everyone who's ever played with the guy seems to think they know what he would have thought. Ronnie would have loved this idea of a hologram going out that looks like it's a, a deleted scene from Grand Theft Auto. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The, the, the hologram tweaks I, I have not looked that great to me. But again, I haven't seen it, so I shouldn't judge. I missed it because I had to work that night when they did Asbury Park. But don't. if you played with Dio, don't tell me what Dio would or would not approve of. All right? Don't tell me Kevin Dubrow would have approved or not approved of the new Quiet Riot with uh, with the other American Idol guy um, whose name is slipping my mind. Nice guy. I like him. Uh, and I, I think Quiet Riot's working, quite frankly. I think at first I was very hesitant, but then when I saw them live, I was like, this is really working. So the fans, us fans, we should judge whether we're going to accept it or not. But shut up about telling us what Freddie Mercury or what Kevin Dubrow or what Ronnie James Dio would or would not have liked about what's currently going on post their death. Because you don't fucking know. So shut up. I don't want to hear any more people talking about what a dead guy thinks. You know what? Dead guys don't think. They have no opinion on the situation whatsoever because they're dead. You should ask them before they die what they would think of it. Hey, would you be okay if I replaced you with a hologram? When you die, then we'll really know. 